man, I'm so thirsty. Uh, do you have water? Sauce? It's a boy. It's a girl. <laughs> yeah, and the guy just threw sauce at me. Who does that? Get out. this took me about six hours wow that's fast I'll trade you okay wait wait how long is this supposed to take to fix so as I'm sure you're all aware uh, there was a big shift in the stock market um, all of our employers are fired but it's our duty as interns to keep the company going. I agree, it's just, do any of us know anything about e-currency, like, anything at all? Um, I think the E stands for extraterrestrial. Uh, yeah, I think you're thinking of E.T. Katy Perry song isn't bad. Sometimes I like a little bit of ketchup, but it depends on what it's on. Making it saucy with you, baby. Alright, Control. I'm approaching the sun. Am I good to go? Alright, Johnson. It looks like you're all set. Alright, Control. Thanks for letting me do this. You know, it's uh, it's been my dream. It's a little hot, but... Once it gets to be nighttime, I'll be good to go. Do you got your ice cubes? I got my ice cubes, but uh, it's getting a little hot. Is everything okay? And uh, you shouldn't have anything to worry about. It's on autopilot. My ice cubes are getting a little melty. Uh, why isn't it getting dark? Um, what's today? Uh, Sunday, March 11th. Isn't that daylight saving time? Oh, no. Johnson, you're not gonna believe this. <laughs> it's really funny, actually. I like a joke. Okay, Johnson, uh, I don't think it's gonna get dark. Uh, this is kind of funny. It's not gonna get dark in the next hour. Um, I actually don't think the sun ever gets dark, but it's especially not gonna get dark in the next hour. You gotta get out of there, man. Well, you know, this thing's hold my dream, so I'm gonna keep doing it. I think it'll get dark. I I'll, I'll wait it out. Thanks, though, Control. Well, Control, while I wait for it to get dark, I'll sing a little song. Oh, boy, had a dream to go to the sun. The boy's name was Johnson, and that boy is me today. Oh, wow! To be? Bingo! Or, uh, not to be. 56i. Uh, never mind. And then they just hit me with sauces. That can't be real. The sauce guy's just a myth. Sauces? No, I'm good. Thanks. Okay. Okay. Just checking. All right. Does honey count as a sauce? Yeah. Hey. Uh. Oh, he's gone. Yeah. 
Well, that was a long one. Welcome to Acro- different. Anyways, I'm Kylie Stanley. And I'm Sage Graham, and welcome to episode two of Akron After Hours. Uh, Sage, it's episode three. No, I never filmed episode two. It's episode two. Uh, Clayton, did you not tell him? Tell me what? Well, I'll catch you up with episode two. In the meantime, I hope you guys enjoy watching episode three. Episode two? You can't have episode three without episode two, and I wasn't here for episode two, so episode two didn't- Here are a couple. We are happy to announce our 99.8% success rate. But then again, this is a number. Thank you from our happy couples. The first person I coupled with on Couple was Bradley, and here we are. I'm the luckiest person in the world. He's the perfect man. <laughs> Sweetie. Perfect man needs the perfect woman by his side. Um, I'm not sure why I'm here, but um, I guess I met I met Jenny like last year, and you know, we used to go on picnics and um you know, eat ice cream together? Um, well, Harper and I just went on a picnic last week. It was, um, it was great, honey. <laughs> Enjoy it while it lasts. Um, do we have a problem? I don't know. Are you the one who's taking my wife? What are you talking about, dude? Yeah, yeah what is he talking about, Bradley? What I'm trying to ask is where's my wife? We don't even know you, bro. Yeah, maybe you should text her or call her. Yeah, can we get back to the commercial and start saying more two stuff? Right, uh, sorry, sir. When Bradley and I first met for the first time, I knew it was special. It was magic. magic. <laughs> I can't thank Couple enough for giving me my soulmate. I, too, would like to thank Couple for giving the chance for my wife to bounce out of my life with a new man. Thanks a lot, Couple. Where is my wife, Couple? Where is she? Just take a deep breath, Johnny. She'll be back. It's all gonna work out. Dude, why did they book you for this commercial? Oh yeah, I'm the CEO. Couldn't you tell by how I was narrating this the whole time? Seeing people happy is the only thing that gives me joy in this miserable life. Oh, that's kind of sweet. Let's go. Wait, please. Couple, I'm very sad. <laughs> Please contact your doctor before using Couple. If you easily suffer from a broken heart, Couple may not be the best fit for you. Consider dating in the real world. Or, maybe not at all. Side effects for Couple include heart shattering, heart breaking, heart stomping, heart attacks, loneliness, extreme loneliness. I can't stress how lonely you may become if you use Couple. Just look at this guy. Look at him. That's our CEO. And this is how lonely he is. That could be you. Other side effects include denial, sadness. The girl who left me was Alice. That was her name. She just left. Oh boy, this was a mistake. Why did you have the guy who just went through a breakup read the side effects? Are people even using this app? They shouldn't. Can you hear the sadness in my voice? Wait, why are you turning my audio down? Is that security? Oh, okay, I get it. Oh yeah, you can never silence me. All right, you wanna go get some food now? I'm down for some yeah, food. Or do you wanna go get the food? Weren't we just here? I could have sworn. All right, am I dreaming? But like, we've been in this room before. You're just hungry. I mean, yeah. Why are we stuck here? Is it because of them? Did you do this? I gotta get out. So that's when I said, a pinata, a more like a bat yada. <laughs> uh, yeah, hold on. I, I, I gotta take this. Yeah, we'll talk later. 
All right, love you too, mommy. Hi, this is Jared from Province Insurance. How may I help you? Hi, my name is Sam. I'm a Province Ranch customer, and I have an issue with my insurance bill. Yeah, see, there's this extra charge and- I'm sorry to hear that, ma'am. Could I put you on hold for a quick second? I guess so, sure. Thank you, ma'am. My apologies. Unbelievable. I couldn't even finish a sentence without getting put on hold. Alright, yes. Um, extra olives and no cheese. Alright, see you in a bit. Ooh, I should probably get back to that girl. Alright ma'am, sorry for the wait. You can go ahead with your problem whenever you're ready. That took forever. What were you doing, ordering a pizza? Um, ma'am, I'm not at liberty to discuss my work. You said you had a bill complaint? Yeah, my bill has this charge and I can't figure out what it's for, but it's making my monthly payment almost twice as much. <sighs> I'm very sorry to hear that, ma'am. I'll, I'll do everything I can to make this right. But first, would you mind being put on a, a, a brief hold once again? Thanks. You gotta be kidding me! So, I order a pizza, mm. and then I go back on the phone with the girl, like 20 minutes later, and I put her right back on hold again. <laughs> no way, I don't believe that. No, seriously. Watch. Hello? Ma'am? Yes, finally! Is there any update on the charge of my bill? I'm sorry, but it appears we're having trouble finding your account information. If you wouldn't mind being put back on a brief hold, I'll be right back to help you. Thank you. <laughs> How long have you had this girl on hold for? Three hours. It's almost too easy. I don't even know her name to find her account. <laughs> you ever gonna get back to her? Yeah, good one. Hey, you wanna go see that movie? Sure. Nice. I'm sorry. There was an error with your call. Please call again later. Goodbye. Hi, I'm President Matt Wilson at the University of Akron, and you're watching ZTV. When we diversify them, our core competencies. All right, guys, uh, let's do this. What do you got for us today, Bob? Uh, just a new profit margins, boss. Ah, uh, go right ahead. Well, as you're all aware, we just released the Gizmonator last month to rave reviews. Nice job on the ad campaign, Mark. Thanks, Bob. I like the supportive atmosphere. All for one and one we are. Let's keep going. All right, so as you can see, these are our latest profit margins. Uh, the arrow points to a, a careening nosedive to corporate oblivion. What are we gonna do? Our shareholders will destroy us! We're, we, we're gonna go under! We're doomed! Ugh. We're all gonna die. We're toast! We're, we're done for! We're all sinking like, like a poor little leaky rowboat all alone on the raging sea of doom! Abandoned ship! Wait a minute. It's Mark's fault. He ran the ad campaign. Hey Mark, you're gonna have to fix this. What? But how? I don't know, but you're gonna have to find a way to fix this. Well, all right. Call every department. We're gonna fix this. Good thing, and Bob. As long as we stick together, nothing will bring us down, huh? Yep. All for one and one for all. Hello. Who? Mr. President, someone from the IRS is coming. Who'd you call? Everybody. Bob. <laughs> All right, dude, you gotta do some of that graph. Hide it. All right, I got this. Just hold on. Phew. Good thing, Bob. Wait a minute. How could you have done something like this, Bob? I mean, this is the third time this month. Boss. No, this is all on you. That agent is <clears throat> right behind me. And can you explain what you're doing? Sir, none of this is what it looks like. Yeah. And can you explain what this guy was doing? 
I ask you to fix this, and that's what you come up with? Jeez. All right, I've heard enough. This whole company's getting audited. Stat. Um, uh, all for one and one for all, right? Can it, Mark. I gotta get out of here. Clayton, please! Hey, I think I made it. Did you? No. Mr. Schrock? Mr. Schrock? Excuse me, are you Mr. Schrock? Oh, yeah, yeah, sorry, I'll be right there. I'm, I'm about to beat my high score in this game. Well, I'm ready for you now, so if you don't want the job... Oh, no, 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 I'm coming. No! I'm sorry, I thought you had the door. I was so close to beating my high score from the past week. That game is literally my life. Literally your life, huh? Interesting. Have a seat. So, tell me a bit about yourself. Well, I'm, uh, I'm 23. I love video games, cartoons, taking long naps in the day, sometimes through the night. Uh, I consider myself a, a tired soul for how much sleep I get, you know. It's almost like I should get paid for it. Uh, my mom just says I'm lazy, but I say I'm energetically challenged. Ah, uh, interesting. Yeah, you know, right now I don't really have any ambitions for anything particular, you know, except for getting number one on that leaderboard. But I won't point any fingers at who ruined that. <coughs> but, you know, mom always says what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Mothers do know best. So do you have any concerns about the position you're applying for? Yeah, I do have one. I noticed a horrible stench in here. <sighs> I found the source of that horrible smell. That's my mother's famous beef stew. Famous? What could be so famous about something so horrid? Oh, no, that's actually fantastic. You're right. Mothers do always know best. You mind if I take the rest with me? Uh, sure. All right, thanks. Okay, I think I got a good feel for you so far from what you've told me. I think you're the perfect candidate for a position of professional sleeper, and I want to be the first to welcome you to the team. Wow! Yippee! Yeah! I love your enthusiasm. I'll make sure to bring in extra beef stew for you on your first shift. It'll have you sleeping like a baby. It's a family secret. Thank you so much. I'll be the best sleeper that you've ever had. I guess I don't need this anymore. I've finally found my dream career. Huh. Dream. Get it? I gotta go tell my mom. Mom? Hi. I'm President Matt Wilson at the University of Akron, and you're watching ZTV. Honey, I got the eggs! This is where the murder happened, huh? Yeah, as you can see, the body's right there on moved. Disgusting. Well, by any means, did you see the murder? No, I didn't. Missy, I don't know a better way to put this, but you just might be out of luck. Wait, what? I mean, I don't know what else you want me to do. I can't go back in time and I can't spot the murder. I got nothing else to solve this, so... Okay, bye, I guess. All right. Studying so much, I haven't gotten to eat. Oh wait, I got some leftovers from yesterday. All right, yeah. What? Where's my food? 
Where's my leftovers? The one time I save food and somebody steals it? Hmm. Hey buddy, you care to explain this here? Huh? Looks like someone made a mess in the hallway. Or someone ate something they weren't supposed to. Uh, okay, uh, okay. Yeah? I, I ate the sandwich. I'm, I'm sorry. It's just when I have a condition when I get high levels of stress or emotion that I eat uncontrollably. But why did you have to eat my food? I'm starving. Hey guys, I've got some fresh pizza if anybody wants it. Oh, I'd love to. Thanks. I just about lost my cool with this guy. Hey! I have a condition. That's not a condition. He's a glutton. Get back here! The camera shut off. Freedom! <laughs> Episode 2 was pretty hilarious, almost as funny as Episode 3. If you also missed Episode 2 or any of our past sketches, you can watch them on our YouTube channel at ZTV Akron After Hours. You can also like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter and Instagram. I like that part. I'm going to say it next time. <laughs> it's kind of my thing. You let Clayton say it. Uh, he's the producer. Clayton! Yes, sir. <laughs> All right. Ouch! What was that? Ew. Huh? Never been able to do that before. Hey, Norm. Dude, what took you so long to get here? What are you talking about? I came as fast as I can. I saw you walking over here. You were moving at a slug's pace. Well, sorry about that. You want to get lunch now? Sure. Uh, want a burger or something? You know, I'm actually craving a salad. Something with a lot of leafy greens and mushrooms. Okay, well, uh, you want to go then? Yeah. <sighs> oh, oh my God. <laughs> what has been going on with me these past few days? Everyone's been saying I've been moving really slow. And I've become strangely flexible. I can't seem to get enough salad. I'm pretty sure I've been leaving a slime trail. It was the slug. I have superpowers? I gotta do something with these powers. Gremlin strikes again? Ha! <laughs> A nemesis. Well, beware, Gremlin. Your foul reign of terror is about to come to an end. <laughs> halt right there, Gremlin. Your evil activity ceased today. What is this? This is the dawn of a new age of justice. This is the rise of good meets evil. This is your downfall, Gremlin. And just who has come to put an end to my activity? It is I, Slugman. Enjoy your prison cell. <laughs> Surprise! Uh, 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 I, I thought you were my friend! What? You think just because I'm a villain doesn't mean I don't have a social life? I mean, Corey, I always knew you had a hero complex, but Slugman? Really? I mean, you don't even have any superpowers. I do too have powers! A radioactive slug bit me! Slugs don't bite people. But I've been moving slowly, and I'm flexible. And I've been craving a salad. You've been going to that yoga class, haven't you? 
but I've, I've been leaving a slime trail. Dude, your water bottle has been leaking like all week. That slug bit me. I'm gonna prove to you, you don't have any superpowers. Huh? Yeah, you see this? No, 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 don't, don't, no, no. What have I done? Uh, it's not what it looks like. Yeah, I'm not sure what this looks like, but I'm gonna have to take in. Oh, come on. No, 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 no. Come on. Oh, no, no. Officer, come on. You gotta understand. I've been through this before. Come on. This is the mantis all over again. I hate superheroes. Hold still. Come on. Perfect. This way. This program was produced by ZTV at the University of Akron. To find out how you can make Emmy-winning media, visit the UA School of Communication online. ZTV. Make media. Make a difference.